Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, I am back on the Kobe Sound, of course. So today I'm doing something a little different. I'm gonna focus on using the DOA cow, but I'm gonna do kind of a little experiment or a test. I'm trying to see if there's a color difference between the root beer chartreuse and the silver mullet. A little more realistic, but this is the tried and true classic inshore DOA cow color. The theory is the chartreuse tail is supposed to set them apart from the other bait fish that they're mimicking and supposed to grab their attention kind of like a reaction bite. But this one, I don't know, I feel like this one might do well because it looks much more like a finger mullet, which is their primary bait right now as opposed to this guy. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an hour on the clock and fish for an hour with each of the lures and then see how many fish I catch, if there's a difference in quality. Um, if I don't catch any fish, you're not gonna see this video anyway. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get fishing now. So, just put an hour on the clock, I'm gonna start fishing. I'm starting out with the root beer chartreuse. All I'm gonna do, cast it out, let it sink for a second, try to get it on the bottom. And then you reel up slack, two short pops. This is a, uh, a method I learned from uh, Salt Strong. Their videos are really helpful, helped make me more successful uh, in saltwater when I was transitioning from mainly freshwater, mainly saltwater. Um, this is also a setup I got from Salt Strong. It's a uh, 1 16th ounce owner twist lock hook that I'm fishing these DOA cows on. So that's all it is. I'm going to be using the exact same hook, same weight, everything for the two. Um, they're the same size baits and I'm just going to see which one performs better. Stay tuned and uh, let me know what you think of the video. I hope it's helpful. About time. All right, well, I finally got on the board here. My time's halfway through, but I got a first fish. All right. He's bleeding, but it came out pretty easily, so I'm just gonna get him back in. Whew. All right, well, I'm on the board at least. <laughs> All right, my timer's going off. I'm gonna finish reeling in this cast. Time to switch baits. I've got the silver mullet all rigged up, and here goes the timer. We're starting. Let's see if I can beat one. <laughs> I just got hammered, I saw that eat. Not even a big one, but he absolutely demolished it. Holy cow. Already came out. He flew off the oyster bed for that one. <laughs> it's a little guy, but man, that was a really hard hit. All right. One to one, I guess. And that didn't take very long. look very very far in that mouth you can see my DOA cow get a quick measurement so we can see if we can keep him yep all right in the cooler he goes 30 minutes left on the silver mullet
on the cast. <laughs> Picked it up on the cast. <laughs> Lively guy. Just a little guy, but he, uh, listen to him croak too. Got the. Woo! There we go. Not much time left for the silver mullet. Terrible landing, but I got another guy. Check out that. The uh, silver mullet hanging out of his mouth there. Just hammered it. All right, let's get him out of here. All right, see you later. Get big. Good trout bite right now. Another guy with the uh, silver mullet hanging out of his mouth. All right, let him go. Let him grow. <laughs> That's a good trout. <laughs> Wow, man, I am just really on a good spot right now. He's thick, but I'm letting him go anyway. <laughs> Speaking of, there's the timer. Oh my God, buzzer beater. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think that was a pretty definitive answer. <laughs> I, uh, to give credit to the root beer chartreuse, I've caught a lot of fish on it. Um, in my last video, I cleaned up on the root beer chartreuse. However, today, whether it was the conditions or just what the fish wanted to eat, they showed a clear preference for the silver mullet. I mean, in my opinion, it's a much more realistic color scheme. It looks much more similar to a mullet, which is what they eat. Um, and I don't think the water conditions in the low country are that clear, but um, they can still see it. So it's not like you need the chartreuse tail for them to be able to possibly see it. For people fishing in the low country with the DOA cow, um, based on this very limited experiment, if you want to call it that test, um, I would have to recommend the silver mullet color. Um, it just was a clear winner today. I don't know how many trout I caught on it, uh, but I missed a lot more. Um, so. If I had caught all the fish and if I showed all of the fish in the video, which I'm sure I won't just for time reasons, um, it was probably a dozen fish to one, all trout, uh, which is interesting. No reds today. Uh, although the couple that hammered me might've been reds and I just missed them. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know any other tests or videos or what you thought of this test. Um, I'd be happy to try other colors too. Those are just the two colors I usually rely on, root beer chartreuse and silver mullet. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Bye.